Today on a gaming podcast, episode 62, we talk about Nintendo or going after a streamer, Ubisoft is being sued, and the state of WB Games. That's, that's not on me. All right. That was, you know, you do that this was, to me every single that was fucking pure theater. time. Now, I don't know what you're talking about. about, about, the answer, about the talk. I saw from my friend Aaron and then Marcel, you got to go in. I saw and an alley like, oop. I saw an alley oop, but I had uh, to take the dunk. I, had to take the dunk, I mean, so. it was not like I was going to show, you know, I got a Gengar EX. No. You know, I, I was going to show oh, that I got, got a, a, a Porygon uh, full uh, full art. I got a Blastoise EX. Yeah, like I got, I got, a, I got a, I had a full things for a couple things the past few days and but steve, you know do you have one of those? i can't show it because yeah, yeah, you know marcel yeah, kind of these? ruined it so have one yeah. of these, though? do you have one of those steve uh no i have the full animation one i don't ha- i don't have the crown one. is that the crown one that's the crown Ooh. rare uh, this, this is my favorite pokemon too so it is only fitting that if i'm ever, if, if for the end of time i don't get a single other crown rare in pokemon pocket i am glad i got the charizard one See, that's me and Gengar. The moment I get Gengar, I can uninstall the app and be happy with it to a certain extent. Oh, you just wanted a Gengar and that's it? Oh, yeah. I, I can die happy just pulling a Gengar <laughs> and that, that'll like, be my last. Any one. Gengar? No, any? well, no, I, I want a nice one, but. You want like a full art <laughs> yeah, Gengar? Like this one? That one. That one I want. Oh, oh well, so that's Gengar yeah. EX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You can't go wrong with a good old Gengar EX. But I mean, that, like, that, that imagine if you cool. had like a full art Gengar EX. Oh, that you got mean. a full art. Okay. That yeah, that's mean. pretty good. Yeah. 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 Right. Actually, right. I see. I Gengar, out. honestly, yeah. Gengar makes for some really fun decks in the game. I'm not going to lie. But the, the meta is so like, oh, it's, it's so- all Mewtwo, it's all Pikachu. It's just like you can barely because like what I've been having the most fun with lately is uh friggin Wigglytuff. Like oh. I think she because I don't know about you guys. I have the absolute worst luck when you flip coins. I always, always, always flip mm. tails mm-hmm. almost every single time, whether it's like I use a Misty, whether it's like yeah. I got to use Moltres to flip coins to get energy for my Charizard. Mm-hmm. I always flip tails. So what I've noticed is a lot of other people get really bad luck as well. So Wigglytuff yeah. is like. You get the 80 damage, they have to hope they flip heads to keep their yeah. card alive, and you're almost guaranteed mm-hmm. getting a free EX kill. It's you know you know I am addicted to this game, and it's your guys' fault. <laughs> I blame all of you for peer pressuring me on Halloween. I told you, I was like, I don't know if I want to do it. And then, and then, you know what? Riley is really the one that we should all point our no, finger right. to. That's right. true. Oh, that is true. Yeah. That is it true. was, yeah. it was very much on him. That's why yeah, you were on this episode. Yeah. You were very, very happy about, but just, just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Marvel, a Marvel snap, snap guy. I'm just going to stick with that. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not going to get addicted to another game. Yeah, we, 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 yeah. That we, we, and it's a cocaine addict, and you're like, oh, do you want to try heroin, man? Like, it's going to be awesome. You're, you're totally fine. Yeah. Good with just the one, you know? No, but, but just try heroin at least once. And oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No, but, not, but you know what the thing is, is it, it's now made me like neglect Marvel Snap. I've only like finally hit infinite in Marvel Snap after like a week of just on and off playing mm. and uh and now like now that i've hit infinite in marvel snap i'm like okay i don't really gotta touch that game for a while i can just go full in on uh pokemon oh, on your side piece i get it, it- right. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, uh, oh, did you ever try like the gardevoir mewtwo combo the gardevoir mewtwo yeah yeah i finally I have like nuts. Yeah, I finally like recently got a second Gardevoir so that I can like make it the proper oh, deck. Oh my god! You I think know? I just got a Gardevoir. Uh, like, that Pokemon will automatically give you like another energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you just get it. So like, right? If you have a Mewtwo in front, you're getting like four energy. Something. It's like, it's really unfair. <laughs> it's really unfair. I've been running the Starmie and uh, Lapras one with the Misty, and then just mm. being like, I mean, some, and once if you flip it, sometimes, dude. I, I, I played, played someone like, forget I'm out. I played <laughs> someone that, that flipped nine heads on the coin with Misty. Yeah, Their Lapras crazy. had ten energy. That's it was bad. insanity. Whoa. It was insanity. Shut the app down at that point. Yeah, I know. You yeah, can see it right away. I haven't really gone into any of the uh, multiplayer uh, stuff yet. Um, mm. I, I just because I like I, I and I have because I, I haven't really figured out how to be able to best build a deck for me, like a custom deck. I tried. 
and I just couldn't get be able to get the like the right amount of cards that I need. I was always missing like a certain like a certain oh okay I need this type these type of cards in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've just been going with kind of like whatever the rental decks are been kind uh, of rental decks are given. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I like now I've got like I've got like almost six hundred cards in my in my collection and uh, yeah. and and I'm getting I've been getting close about getting the full deck of all of like the the I guess Original. I don't know what you called the, the 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 achievement decks. Oh, oh. yeah. I've oh, been so okay. like I've, I'm like two or one away from collecting pretty much almost all of them, and it's 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 hard to be able to get them because it's, I hate it when you're like down to like that one card and yeah. none of them does, are coming up as a wonder. Does pick. anyone hold on? This this will be fun. Does anyone know this card exists? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Have yep. you have you heard about this? Yeah. I have not the, seen it, the Mew. Yeah, it's got the, yeah. Original, got the original Pokemon. All yeah, so if you if you yeah if you collect all the Pokemon from the Kanto region, you get the Mew, and it's like the oh. the animated Mew. It's it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, uh, I'm, it looks nice. It's a it's a really nice yeah. card. Yeah, it's useless. Like don't ever use it online. But yeah, it's a good looking oh. card. I don't know. I I need I might need some like some pointers at some point to how to be able to jump in because I've been just doing the the challenges Ooh, for uh, solo I, play. Caboose doesn't have a YouTube channel yet about this. maybe so, I gotta make a, a Caboose TCG. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta make a Caboose TCG. TCG. Yeah, I know. You totally I know. should. But Honestly, that's not a bad point. idea. Like, Caboose yeah. TCG, you could go into Marvel Snap stuff. I, and and the pocket. TCG I know. Stuff. Yeah, I know. Steve, to your point, though, like it, it is very hard to get into the online without rolling the meta. Like the game oh, kind yeah. of forces, like shoehorns you into yep. fitting very specific decks. Otherwise, you're just going to get trounced because everyone's running the same meta, same cards, and everything. And yeah, Oof. if you can't keep up, that, it's the same way I don't really uh, indulge all that much because yeah. it's like I don't have half the cards that I realistically need to be competitive. So I'm just yeah. like, hey, I'm just, just cool on the sidelines here. I'm collecting. Yeah, One I just uh, extra packs. <laughs> for me, it's more of like I'm still trying to learn like more, like more than just basic strategy. Uh, because mm -hmm. I've been I've been playing against the AI and some of them actually like some of the challenges when you get up there, like even just the intermediate ones. Like if you because I, I don't know if it's on purpose, but they don't give you a deck that is optimized for that like challenge. Yes, you do. Like you don't have a deck at all. Like you're unlocking that deck once you like the proper deck. Once you play, like finish that challenge, and it is hard. It is like, just yeah, trying to be able easy. to like, like makes me kind of like have to rethink about how, how like, okay, if I am in, if I'm in that kind of situation in multiplayer, how do I go up against it? But if I don't have the right cards, can I still pull it off, or is it just better just to concede and just get out? I don't, I have, I have no idea. Like it's. I'm afraid to jump into multiplayer now at this point because now everyone's just, as you said, the, get in the middle. The next time, like if whenever we hang out or whatever, like I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at your your Pokedex, okay, and see what kind of decks I can help uh, build for you. Because if you you said you had what like somewhere north of 600 cards, was it? Somewhere north, yeah, about 600 cards. So I've got a lot of duplicates. So, these are these are the, like sort of the top cards I've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few like full art kind of stuff. Oh, but, you got uh, the full art Sabrina, huh? Uh, do I? I think I, <laughs> I don't even what? know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so many cards you didn't even know. No. Didn't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Sabrina. I was like, wait, that's a Pokemon. No, I'm like, yes, yes, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, trainer, so, the trainer, Sabrina and Brock. Uh, nice the trainer cards. Nice. Yeah, I got Giovanni. Sabrina's one's a cool one. Yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, if you if you got like a lot of duplicates, I'm sure you can make some good decks. I'd like yeah. to. I just like, yeah, I just, I, I, that's why I like going through the solo just challenges just to try to like, okay, what it kind of gives me the idea of like, okay, what strategy do I need? What kind of a deck, what kind of cards do I need for these situations? And, and I, I tried building like a lightning deck, but it just did not do well. So I have to, I have to learn how to do that properly. Yeah. If you're just missing two cards, why don't you just use your uh, points to get it? Uh, so I did use a, a quite a few to be able to unlock pretty much a, uh, I've got like four or five of the challenge decks done. Uh, and some of them might just basically just use like the, um, the, the deck points, uh, mm -hmm. to buy the cards, but some of them are mm -hmm. a little bit expensive. Um, and so I have to kind of wait till I unlock a few. So a few more to get it. Yeah. Well, but, uh, it's been that... actually coming handy, like, especially when you need that one card to finish the deck. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just like, oh, it's like 70, it's like 70 deck points. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Totally. I've got that. Easy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Uh, besides that, Steve, what's going on? Which, Which one? Is, is, well, you're, you're the <laughs> Steve. So I will say your names, Steve. 
Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm just chilling, man. Uh, you know, just uh, it's just another week. I'm just excited yeah. for Call of Duty season one. That's what I'm kind of just yes focused in on. I'm I'm locked oh. in for Thursday. When is that? Thursday. At Thursday, noon, I think. Okay. Okay. That'll be fun. Jump That'll in. Be a lot of fun. Oh, whew, yes. Man. I just got my official dev copy, so I'm I'm excited to be able to nice. jump uh, jump in and play. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Two hundred still- gigabytes later. Oh, yeah. I know. I had to clear up. I, I, you know, this this is when you know things have changed in my life when it comes to the games that I'm going. Uh, I've been playing. I had to remove Destiny just to install Call of Duty. Damn. Out with the old and with the new. Get it. Get it out of here. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I haven't played yeah. it in a but since the final shape came out, and I was like, you know what? It's time. I just need to just need to remove it. And uh say yeah. goodbye. Yeah, just for time. now. Yeah. Have you so. been still playing um Dragon Age, Steve, or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm getting pretty uh far into it. I think I'm like chapter six or seven. Okay. Yeah, I'm really liking it. It's really, I got you had, you had your whole team and everything as well. Or? No, I so I, I I'm one person left. That's my next okay. uh, quest. So I right. yes. So I think the latter half of chapter six. I'm having fun with it. I like I said in the last episode. I don't think the dialogue is all that great. But aside from that, the yeah. world building, the the art, gameplay, it's all it's all very really beautiful. Great it's very yeah. beautiful the arts. Like the combat's cool as well. So it's awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good time. Boost, what's going on besides Pokemon? Really? Besides Pokemon? Build, build, build your own Pokemon gym. Oh, man. Besides Pokemon, it's been Call of Duty. And besides Call of Duty, it's been Marvel Snap. And besides Marvel Snap, it's been, I guess, sleep. I like, <laughs> there you go. I don't know. I, I have been enjoying, you know, it's it. the weather's getting a little colder. It's nice to be cozy indoors. And when playing some games, I've been doing like a, you know, rewatching some movies that that I feel are great for like the holiday season. Like I've been running through uh, Harry Potter Hell with yeah. my girlfriend, which has been nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, you know, just enjoying that that time of of just being cozy indoors and staying warm because it's finally getting cold. And that's it. Yep. That's it. There's no. There's. There, I got nothing to talk about on YouTube these <laughs> days. <laughs> there's no no happy spider-man to, dlc happy so, birthday to miles morales though happy birthday spider-man miles, miles. morales four That's years right. ago i can't believe it's right. been four years i know uh, that also means that it's been four years since the ps5 dropped right yep it is yeah oh and they, had, they just had a price drop for the digital only until oh wow the, oh until christmas pretty right. good pretty good yeah. and you know what i'm just like counting down the days for marvel rivals they just showed off moon knight We've gotten like a ton of new like costumes revealed and stuff too. It's really shaping up to be like a pretty fantastic looking game. I'm really, really excited. Every for day it. they're like, here's this character. I'm like, oh my God, just give me the game already. Like, clearly it's ready. Just give me the game. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I mean, I think too, like IGN had a, a gameplay showcase of Moon Knight. Yep. And some people were noticing that like in the kill feed, there was a character that was unrevealed. And a lot of people were like, that, that looks like Hawkeye. So like that, we mm. might get another character reveal before the launch. Jeez. It is going to have a really stacked, a stacked starting roster. roster. Say, how many characters do they have right now? Uh, I think we're somewhere close to like twenty six or twenty seven. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, Psylocke wasn't even an option. Yeah, exactly. Psylocke hadn't yet. been revealed when the when the beta was out. They also had Captain America and Winter Soldier revealed since then. Yeah. And mm-hmm. now we're, we got Moon Knight and we might get Hawkeye. I like and I think what's so awesome is every time they show promotional material for the game, all of those characters are unlocked day 1 mm-hmm. and yeah. they're and they're they're unlocked for free. And then every character that comes to the game after the fact is going to be added into the game for free as well. I think that's like Hopefully, at least it's a really solid model. And if they have a steady pace of content that comes out after the game's release, it could be massive, man. Like they know this they could got be... us with the skins. So yeah, they, well, exactly like... right. And and you know what? They come out swinging. <laughs> this is the first Marvel project in a while that's had alternate costumes where they don't waste any time. You want the movie costumes, right? That's mm-hmm. what we're all hoping for. Blue right Venom. off the bat, right off the bat, we got the Guardians of the Galaxy three suits for like. Star Lord, Rocket, Groot, which I think is great. Like there were the, there was an Avengers game that came out not too long ago that for some reason decided we don't want money, guys. We <laughs> that was one we're going to sell you decisions. We're going to sell you twenty five dollars skins in the store, and none of them are going to be based on comic books that you like or the suits from the movies that you love. And they decided only. Six to eight months after launch to be like, oh, oh now it's time, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, the, the plug's been pulled on this game. Yeah, let's give you all the film uh, mm -hmm. costumes. I'm like, oh, exactly. Oh, cool. Great. Man. Thanks Great. for that. Yeah. Which you know what? I mean, it's pretty nice that you can get all the skins in that game for free now and just oh, like, yeah. jump online and just have fun in photo mode for like 20 minutes here and there. Like that's the only this, reason why I've ever. Is this that crazy game. that they gave the game away for free? They're like, all right, it's delisted. Here's the game for free or a penny Basically. or something. They were selling the collection edition for like ten dollars when yeah. they were ready to take crazy. that game off uh, offline. Yeah wild and spider-man's yeah. only locked the playstation so there you go oh you can't get Sad. anywhere else yeah. Sad. uh we i saw um they revealed some indie and i thought of you and, and uh, some uh, um what was what was he munch on again abercrops or something like that indiana jones? Indiana jones oh oh oh, oh, oh he's, he's <laughs> munching on some biscottis <laughs> biscottis yeah. biscottis oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good old <laughs> indie. i was like that gameplay looked good it yeah, did. I looked, yeah. yeah that's really the more good. i see from it the more excited i get just as well because like I, i'm a fan of those movies and i just i'm mm -hmm. excited to to have just another indie adventure you know yeah yeah, yeah. No. and then the return of the steve you didn't bring anything back with you now did you no ghosts oh no definitely no, yeah no 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 ghosts no culture guys uh but right. there there yeah. there was some there was some stuff that happened some uh stuff yeah some spooky stuff uh, uh -oh. like we so uh, it was it was it was very interesting so we went to this place called uh lidville manor um and uh it was a bunch of us from dungeons and disabled and then also uh, uh my best friend uh t who uh, does a show called old spirits investigations and it's it's very much like a uh like it's it's like an old mansion like an old manor mm. and uh it's it's got some spooky stuff uh for sure uh we got some stuff that uh can't really explain but like, I, like that's the thing it's like i'm not really a cynic but i'm also not a believer either so i'm kind of like in between so i'm like there, there's some stuff that we can't explain and then we also played D, D while also investigating ghosts and uh there was some times that they kind of like jumped in which was uh kind of interesting um there was a lot of activity Damn, okay yeah okay. so uh it, it, I, we've we've recorded it all the, there is a like an actual full like live vod that is up on old spirits investigations like youtube channel but uh i am uh taking all the footage and uh we recorded actually everything and uh we're gonna be uh i'm gonna be putting together the an episode though hopefully if i can get the editing done uh um, before the end of november um cool. i'll have that full that full one shot out awesome. uh because it was it was a, it was a blast i've been like part of your your images your videos like distorted you're like what the hell how did this happen oh is it oh, ghost? no just ghost i mean that's in that's oh, all oh. Starts. i don't know if there was any like i don't think there's anything that pops up like visually but there you was a lot know. of like uh there was a lot of audio stuff um because there was like three things kind of going on there was uh there was using a device called a dead bell um which uses electromagnetic fields to like every time it would just ring like one of those like like old-fashioned bells mm. that kept going off then there was a thing called, that we use called the portal, which is similar to a spirit box, but instead of like where it cycles through a whole bunch of radio frequencies, uh, like a half a, every half second, yeah. uh, but instead of like hearing the static the whole time, it's just only bringing in whatever voices it's able to pick oh, up. Cool. So oh. there was a lot of that going on, and then uh, we, we there was uh, one of our uh, one of our friends who's playing in the game. Their partner um, was had one of those like um, ovulus kind of devices where they kind of gives you words. And this one had like one the one that you could be able to have like three to four uh, like word sentences, basically like small sentences. And it was going off the entire time that we were oh, playing. Man. Like there was play Death Stranding on Xbox. It was weird because there was some there was some like there was it was kind of confusing because there was some points where some were like, Oh, I love this. This is great. Like we're playing they're playing games. Like they knew we were playing games. And then there was like one there was like one spirit that's like, I hate this. I, I need to I, it's too loud. Need y'all to leave. Like it was like they had to, there had to be one troll ghost. Yeah, like, one of, of them was the like Dungeons time. and Dragons is for, for fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> probably, probably. Get out of my house, yeah. nerds. Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So it was. Uh, it, it was great. It was a. It, it was a. It was a ton of fun and uh, very long night. We did. It was basically an all nighter. Uh, night. It was up for like thirty hours by the time I finally got home. Damn. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, well, guess what? Nintendo is out here suing people left, right, and center. They're suing. Um, another emulator, um, I think you like, not using, but I can't remember the name of it. But I also seen a, a student streamer who has been uh, <laughs> we're streaming the game for I, th I think at least ten hours, the ten Nintendo games before, well before its release, 
and Nintendo is suing them for like millions of dollars. Uh, of course, oh. uh, the reason behind this is because they're they're suing the game. They're suing they're suing this uh, streamer because they're not only using an emulation, but like they're also like they, they were like boasting Nintendo like even if you take off my channel, I got fifty more. What are you gonna do about Nintendo? Nintendo's like, oh, oh yeah, all right, here you go. We're gonna come after you, and like the cl- and there's been like photos of him using emulation as well, and and his whole entire Discord. Like Nintendo has no problem jumping in your Discord, and being like, all right, let's see what's the chatter in here. That's wow. Let's see I love I love how when Nintendo <laughs> is like, you know, like does the ultimate fuck around and find out. Oh, yeah. I was about <laughs> like, to say the same thing. Time. So hold on, so hold on, break this down for me. So this this guy yeah. was streaming. What was he streaming? So like, one of the games, games? Like, he, he streamed like Legend of Zelda: e- Echoes of Wisdom, uh, Mario Jamboree, and even the uh, latest Mario and Luigi Brothership. And he was mm. streaming the games for like well before they even come up to, like release date. Um, they oh, made, so he was streaming them before they were even out, and he was doing it well with before. an emulator. Oh uh, yes, with an emulator because like okay. with, sadly, you know, the Switch is easily hacked, and a lot of yeah. games do release out from the Switch like weeks, weeks before. Damn. Which, like, which like because like I think like like I think it's used like a paper clip because that like it's that easy just to like. Well, hack what I don't clip. understand is why who would play with fire like that? Like I know, okay, right? You're you're already you're already really dancing, uh, by by uh, or you're walking on eggshells by by playing these games early. You're you're creeping in even scarier territory by streaming it, and then at that point you're you're just poking the bear by saying, "Hey, what are you gonna do? I have multiple accounts." Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I guess Nintendo um, answered the question of what what they're going to do about that. So, accor- according to the lawsuit, um, Nintendo um, have obtained a, a, this person has streamed at least fifty times since twenty twenty two, and for Uh-oh. I guess for each cost that it, 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 it has oh, led up to like millions of dollars, basically yeah. of, of I mean, worth of damage. That's justifiable. I know. I know. We have conversations where it's like, okay, Nintendo's kind of hot and heavy when it comes to lawsuits mm-hmm. and going after, like Pocket Pair, for instance, with the, the right. There's another one right now. Our yeah. world situation that's going on right now, but with specific streamers that are just breaking street date on games using emulation so bullishly, mm-hmm. I'm someone who doesn't really uh, mind the use of emulation, but it's like just. We, we know at this point in the industry, just keep that stuff quiet. Like, you don't have to be like, hey, I'm emulating this game to an audience. I didn't pay for this. Like, one, no one cares. You're, you're not you're not impressing anyone by, you know, torrenting a game or using an emulator or stuff like that. And you're just going to end up with a lawsuit on your hands. And now, look, uh, how, how much was the lawsuit for? How, how much money? Uh, it, it is like this just says in millions. millions? Oh, in oh, millions. Oh, my God. Well, that, like, it's, been, it's back since 2022. Right, so so it's a, a whole bunch of like backdated streams and stuff like that. Like you just threw away your livelihood for some clout and to impress an audience by playing a game marginally early. Like none of it's worth it. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's a twenty five hundred per violation, and uh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> and apparently Nintendo wants uh, one hundred and fifty in damages for each allegation of violation, but uh, it can lead up to like seven point five million apparently. And and you Brutal. know and you know with creators like this, they're just looking for a person to kind of use as like oh, what well, they're using as an example exactly as yeah. an example of like no, yes. this is what happens. You know, you fuck around and find out, and this guy yes. found out, and now yeah. everyone's going to look at this guy and be like, okay, well, not doing this. <laughs> Yeah. And, and yeah, that's like, why, you know, like, to be honest, like, emulators in general, I'm always so weary of using. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. but I think most especially when it comes to Nintendo because of how much they've cracked down on it. I know a lot of people, when it comes to Pokemon Pocket, are using, like, emulators to play it on PC. And mm. it's like, as much as I want to, because I, like, the one thing, for as much as I'm loving the game, I really do hope that it gets at least, like, a Switch release or, like, a PC client mm. of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, Because, man, I am, like... It, it's gonna get bad for my neck to, to be looking down at my phone <laughs> for, for for however long for each game um but i know that a lot of people are using emulators to play it on pc but i don't know like is nintendo at some point gonna say hey stop that you know like yeah, are, are yeah. they gonna ban accounts are they gonna crack down on that like i have no idea so See, I've been i think very those, i think those are fine because for yeah. example like I've, I've done many like stream elements like sponsorship for example yeah, and yeah. If they wanted me to play like even like for um i'm just gonna pick marvel snap let's just say marvel snap didn't have a pc client they right. will tell me like hey download 
Blue Sky, I think it, yep. Blue Sky. it was like some. Is it, that okay. is, oh, it's like a mirroring. Blue Stack. Yeah. Blue Stack that's what it's called. Yeah. yeah. And just you, it was just mirroring like what's on the phone, but it's just on the end. It's like an Android client on your PC. Right. So mm. just it's just acting like a phone for you, and then you, you're you're allowed to use that and like promotions are. That's how you, you stream mobile games. And right. the thing with emulation that's so tricky and interesting, I think, specifically yeah. right now, is that like even on iOS, emulations have got, get, been given the green light. Like you can go on and viably use an mm -hmm. emulator to install, you know, Game Boy games and stuff like that. Now, that being said, I wouldn't, you know, host an entire stream and be like, hey, look at me playing all these games. But for personal use, if you're like, hey, I don't yeah. want to carry around my Game Boy, I don't have my old cartridges. I, I don't see the big deal of going back and playing yeah. these old games, especially when you're dealing with someone like Nintendo, who avidly is kind of opposed to just supporting a back catalog of games. I think like, it's, it's a tricky situation. I think yeah. really, I think like it, it, it should be that. This is why I always feel like it's like emulation is generally okay, but I think it's it, it is with that caveat of if a game is not like if you can't buy or download a, 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 a physical or digital copy of a game in, in like legally then i think you should be allowed to be able to emulate it and there's a lot of nintendo games that are uh, not available because they don't have it in their storefront they don't have it in nso yeah. there is no legal way yeah. to be able to purchase said game so i think at that point emulating it is the only way to go and i think that that one like that should essentially be illegal but it seems as if Nintendo is only going after the folks that should they go that they should go after are the yeah. ones that are leaking stuff early or basically emulating uh, Switch uh, titles and stuff like that stuff that you can be able to purchase on your like legally through their store um, mm -hmm. and I think that that's kind of like that's where that it seems that Nintendo is trying to protect their copyright anything yeah. else I think is just it's just fair use yeah because I think that, that even with this Nintendo doesn't they don't really care if. I mean, they do care, but they don't like. They won't, they're not gonna go after you if you're if you say you you bought a copy, but you're like, oh, I'd rather play it on on my PC or whatever. Like, they don't care for that. And with this person, what they were doing, yes, they were streaming a game, leak games, went well in advance, but they're also like encouraging people, like, oh, you should just part the game. Don't worry about it, like as well. So, and there's many there's many streaming hours of them proving that. And apparently, they're like, I got 50 accounts in Nintendo that you can shut this one down. I got 49 more left. I can't believe it. And There's no critical <laughs> thinking with these people. Like, no. they're just going off rip, just saying <laughs> the, the the quiet part out loud. That, that's all they're doing. This is, I think all this for, like, a couple of views? I know, like, <laughs> it's literally like the, the, the Thanos meme, like, all that for a drop of clout. Like, <laughs> yeah, <that's> just, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, what, what are you doing? Like, what, come on. Like, for, like, really literally 15 it? seconds of fame, and then that's it. That's it. Oh my god! Now, now this whole court case is gonna be what you're known for. You're, like, you're not gonna be like, dude, like, this court case is longer than you stream. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's literally like, oh yeah, what are you gonna do, Nintendo? Ruin my life and have me in debt forever? And they were like, yeah, no, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Every pay you're getting is a little. We're gonna just dock a little bit from you, and you're gonna be god. a prime example. Crazy, god. absolutely crazy. Um, I guess more with uh, it's a clearly a slow uh, news week here because we got <laughs> there's, there's another suing case. But, any, but did anyone see the Donkey Kong stuff, by the way? Yeah, that was cool. the, from the direct. Oh, yeah. the new Nintendo yeah. land. Yeah, yeah, I've been seeing bits and pieces. That Cranky Kong is so impressive. Yeah, I it looks so cool. Specifically for yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> is is any of that coming to the new Nintendo land they're making in Orlando? Yeah, so early yeah. 2025 is when Orlando's Donkey Kong Country opens. Oh, when is man. It, when does it open in, in L.A.? I don't. Oh, I think in LA, Ninten their Nintendo Land in L.A. is Nintendo Land. That's it. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. expansion plan for L.A. Yeah. Oh, really? There's Donkey Kong's not coming to Universal L.A. at all? There's just no or, wall, Orlando's the one that's like, in the big Nintendo Land. Yeah, like, the, yeah, like they don't have room in LA. <laughs> I don't think so. In, oh, wow. In, okay. I thought they were coming to both. Okay. In Osaka and Orlando, they're expanding by like 70% <laughs> just for Donkey Kong Country. And yeah, uh, I, I, there's nothing planned for LA. As I wanted to oh, go damn. to Universal next year just to like see it all, but like you're not going to get on any ride. Nuts, you're not going to yeah, be able to walk true. anywhere. Yeah. I was just like, I I'm going to let everyone have their fun next year. And then maybe I'll go after. in like 2026 or, yeah, or yeah, yeah. maybe not even maybe like the year. No, another you go, year you go like how we did. We're basically we go at the end of the year, like December, whenever everyone's like kind of got their all their. Yeah. All their yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 
Uh, I like the fact you collect the letters as well. That's cool. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. I like that. A lot of it. It, it, it amazes me because it's like I play. I, like, of course, I played the, the Donkey Kong games as a kid, but it just amazes me how much of the Super Nintendo games like influence just like who Donkey Kong is. Like, we, he was just a an arcade um, thing that was good, like was throwing was barrels and like kidnap like, Peach <laughs> and and throw barrels at Mario, and that and that was and that was kind of it. And then there's like. It, it just is it, so crazy to me to that, that. I don't know. It just like uh, it, I think because Mario to me was always like okay, it was always there as growing up. But Donkey Kong, like those games, were the games I played a lot of. And it's just so mm-hmm. weird to kind of see like that now come to life with the Treehouse and Cranky Kong and the and, and like and the, the Golden Temple. Like, like I'm just I'm so amazed by that. I I, I can't wait to be able to to, to see that because I think that that's the childhood that I'm that I'm looking forward to seeing. Mm-hmm. Well, like and seeing like the Donkey Kong Country like graphics for the first time, you're like, "How this is life oh like?" Like, what's going yeah. on? Like, as a child, you're like, "What is happening here?" This, this is a, it's a real monkey right there. <laughs> like, it's mm-hmm. happening. It's crazy. Uh, right, another a lawsuit. Ubisoft is being sued for shutting down the crew. Um, Ooh. So if you have owned that game, oh, I have. I have like heard to... people were like gearing up to do something about this. That's mm-hmm. right. So if you yeah. own the game, get ready for to collect your 15 bucks of your. Uh, cl- uh, lo- uh, was it a lawsuit? Well, the, the clash action, class lawsuit. action, yeah. <laughs> when you're like 20 years from now, you're like, What's this 15 cents for again? Like, yeah. why did they put this off? <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, it's 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 whole the whole um, I could, I don't know where the, these guys are based off out of, but California, um, oh, Cal- oh, thank you. Two, oh, you know what? Two Californians are suing Ubisoft to propose a class, uh, class action lawsuit over the developers who published a recent shutdown of racing game, like the crew. Uh, which was shut down uh, back in uh, 2014. That's not true. Uh, so it launched in 2014. Oh, they, they shut it down, uh, I think, within like the past year or two. Yeah, last uh, last year, 20, 2023. Yeah. And uh, basically, because the fact that the game is not like, hey, you don't. In fact, it's like a new law that if you buy a game, they have to tell you um, that you're it's, licensing it, it. It's yeah. licensing it or not now. So, and that's what they're uh, being sued for. Which Ubisoft was very scrambling quickly. Like, well, forget about that one. But the crew too. We, you could, we we'll figure that out for you guys. Don't worry about it. Forget mm. about this one right here. So, but I mean, all they're gonna do is just settle in. out of court, pay <laughs> yeah. out whatever it is, and just sweep it under under the rug. Unfortunately, I mean, I don't think that they have all that much to work with as far as like the class action lawsuit uh, perspective, because like. What did you expect? I mean, we we have like a decade of history dealing with games as a service and online games and licensing and stuff like that. So it's, I, I guess if Ubisoft wants to just get this over with, they'd just be like, okay, here's your payout. Just shut up. Like, I think you, we're you're beneath this. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, t- I'm taking a, a, like a, a, a different sort of stance on this one. <laughs> I'm taking a different stance on this one because it, to me, it's I don't think it's that they're trying to be able to get their money like out of Ubisoft because of like because of this because it just seems kind of silly. I th- to me, I think it's they're presenting this case as a precedent for other studios that basically will like that can just that are creating online only games that are being shut down by their studios and, of, of people who have purchased these games and are still playing. Like, sure, it probably the audience is small playing of the crew and Ubisoft is. Uh, creating off- offline modes for the crew two and the crew motor fest. Um, but th- there is a there is a bit of game preservation uh, mentality, I think, in this one because there are a lot of games between like I'd say like mid two thousand like around two thousand five to I'd say probably 2015, 2016, yep. where there what that like being online was the requirement and yeah. There, and we're going to be losing a lot of those games because they're now being shut down because the, the studios aren't keeping up with the servers anymore and they just don't care enough to be able to, or by well, inside they don't care enough, but they just don't have the resource to be able to just create an offline mode for it. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're kind of like, they're letting these games just die and just not be playable by anyone, like anywhere anymore. And that's a lot of games to just lose where no one can be able to play them at all. Uh, and I think that yeah. that, that to me is more important is the game yes. preservation. Sure. Granted, yes, not everyone's playing the crew too or the crew anymore. I don't even think anyone's really playing the crew at all. 
to be honest, it's probably the audience is pretty small, but it is. But a if you wanted audience. to jump back at some point in your yeah. life, you know, exactly, you, you should have the option it's, to do so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same with like it's, being it's, able to emulate games like Nintendo games. We yeah. should be able to go back and be able to emulate whatever games we want to play if there is no way to be able to purchase them legally online. And right now, that's not the case for a lot of games that are coming that have been out within the past. I'd say 15, 20 years. Th yeah. th there's very few of that right now. The ability to be able to emulate those games anymore. Um, and it's kind of in that point where studios are starting to shut those older games down. And I think this, th th to me, like, yes, it, on the surface, it seems silly. A couple in California suing Ubisoft on an old 10-year-old uh, game that they're, that they're shutting down. That seems on the surface kind of silly. But I think it's the, setting the precedent for other studios that they can't just shut down a game just because uh just because they want to get like uh, save cost of servers and also to hopefully be able to get rid of the ha having to be online only in order yeah. for, in order to be able to play a game yeah um, i i think all of what you just said steve is so valid and important especially like preservation uh maybe i'm being cynical in, in my belief but i just find it hard to believe that ubisoft or any other publisher looks at this and they're like we're gonna change. We're gonna. We had a change of heart on any of this. Yeah. Instead, they're probably like a couple million dollars. Yeah, just shut up, and we're just gonna continue doing what we're doing. Right, Only because just, that's know, the easy way out, right? For Ubisoft, <laughs> Ubisoft, that makes sense. Like you know, it's a write off. Like okay, yeah, we're gonna set it out of court, pay off this, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But now this has a precedent for everybody, so that even smaller studios that are not around anymore. Mm. Like what's going to happen? Like uh, like uh, or they 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 shut down within the past couple of years uh, yeah. just because of just the the stuff we've been experiencing over the past couple of years with layoffs and everything. Like it, it we're, it's going to be it's this is a precedent setting. That like, this is kind of one of those in like you know in court cases whenever they always refer to X versus or like uh, X versus Y kind of case. Yeah. And this is something that's going to tell the courts this is what this is the precedent the like legal precedent of what to do in these type of court cases. And I hope and, you're right, but then I see like Valve putting up that little notice on every single game that's listed yeah. that's like, "Hey, you're just buying a license and you're not buying the game." And I'm like, "Oh, we're done." Like we oh, are totally. so that, that's far, exactly what they're going to do. Yeah. This is yeah. this is what it will 100% turn into. Yeah. But I think it's just it uh, hopefully it will be to hopefully like the studios will be like, "Well, we don't want to necessarily have to pay a couple million dollars down the road." Sure. Yep. Let's just make sure that our games are offline. You can still be able to play them at any given point, and then they don't have to get into this mess. But I also wonder if these kinds of, you know, notices that Valve's putting up and maybe becomes like standard standardized across, you know, PlayStation and Xbox, that's their yep. way of getting rid of it entirely where they're like no, this will never happen and we can still take our games offline because we let you guys know before you purchase it. Sure. And that's that, where that, I'm like, we're, always we're be, as far as preservation yeah. is. That'll always be the case. So I think that's why we all need to like still fight for preservation oh, because I think that 1, we need to have that library yes. available. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, it's, it's always unfortunate for just the case of like, yeah, okay. Nobody's really playing the crew right now. And that's, and that's probably the argument that Ubisoft would have, right? They're going to say, well, who's playing you know there's nobody that nobody's on these servers so we just felt like it was a good time to take them down but it really is just for a matter of it's not about whether or not there is a consistent player base you know throughout the years whether or not people are online every single day it's about like hey i want to jump on the crew tonight why not you know like and oh wait i can't you know what i mean like that's that's the part that's very difficult and very frustrating i imagine for a lot of these players and why it's end up getting to this point well one prime example with the crew they had like a lot of events where like if you and like this, this is like a long trail but like it's, it's like the pokemon trail type of thing but if you were if you had the, the crew too and you want a specific car if you had a save file or if you did an event in the first crew, you then you get that car unlocked in the second one. Mm. Then, and then and then the, that car kind of carries over even up to the latest Motorfest. Yeah. Like Motorfest game as well. They're like, oh, if you own this car from the first crew game, then you have this car throughout the series in a way. So if you like got into the series halfway through, you're like, damn, I really want to get this car. This is maybe this is one of my favorite cars or whatever. Yeah. Um, and like, oh, let me just buy the crew, which is like five bucks. And now you're like, well, sorry, you can't do that now. Type of thing. You're like, what the yeah, hell? Like, I think it's it's, it's the same as like um like uh for like as an example for what I played as a uh, as a kid. I remember playing uh, Gran Turismo three on my PS two, and I had a memory card that where I saved my entire uh, garage in, and I had some really amazing cars that I loved playing with, with in in that game. And if I still had the memory card today, and I could still jump in, and that game would like 
if, 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 as long as it didn't have it, like you had to be online for it. I think that like I would love to be able to just jump back into and, and just take a look at my garage and see what's there and be like, oh yeah, I remember like ripping down the track with the with like a with like a Dodge Viper GT. Like, come on, yeah. that's, that's dope mm-hmm. as hell. Yeah. Um, like I probably screwed that up on a car guy, but anyway, you know what I mean. I think <laughs> it's just I, I, it's stuff like that, like being able to kind of and also being able to to kind of like look back at our history too. Like we've sure. like we always are thinking about what, like kind of kind of what's new what's coming up what's in the future what, what are we looking forward to to be able to play now um or six months from now or a year from now but we like there's a lot of games that uh people are, are discovering from like 10 years ago that people are like that were like oh man this is like a hit like almost like people were saying like this is a hidden gem mm-hmm. and it's like oh yeah no we used to play that but we keep forgetting that that kind of exists so i don't know i'm just i'm very much more into the like the game preservation nowadays that i just it astounds me that we don't have any of that. Whereas, like the film industry has sort of that had that established uh, over the past couple of decades. And although there are some filmmakers that are just fighting to keep certain things alive because there are parts of the industry that that don't care to. It, it is it's a scary time for any sort of media that you want to preserve preserve because. Yeah it's for a lot of these suits starting to become like, well, is it worth the money to even keep that around? You know what I mean? Like that a lot of them don't realize that maybe one day, all of these digital games you have, or all of those movies you've bought on whatever platform that you don't have a physical Blu-ray, there might be a time where it just goes away, you know, where mm-hmm. we're, and, and we've seen that, right? Like exclusive Disney plus shows, removed mm-hmm. off the platform right or, yeah. or movies removed off the platform when it's like well i never got a chance to watch it you know maybe it got bad reviews or maybe it had a low retention or not enough people watched it for it to justify the cost but like even why can't it just way. stay up you yeah. know the same way as well where you're like oh i they have this album this one band and you're like why is this one album not available? I don't, or why? Why? Well, why exactly, here? right. So there's there, and and more and more we're seeing things like that pop up across all mediums, right? It's not just film. It's not just games. Everything, everything that you love, whether, when you're purchasing it digitally, there is absolutely a reality where one day it's just gone. You know, you you yep. no longer have access to it. We've been fortunate that in some cases, like a Concord, you get uh, offered refunds, right? Or, or whatever the case may be, where if they if they completely shut it down, they say, okay, well, we, we can't just pocket the money that people have spent on this. Um, but that's that's rare, right? That you don't see that very often. Um, would that before, one fall? And this, this is not. I'm. Mean, this is not like a comical question, but mm-hmm. would that one fall into the same suit where it should that has to go offline as well? What do you Wait, mean? What do you mean? Like Concord in a way, because like there's no way for you to free to play that game now. Yeah. Yes, was, but but, but a physical copy. You're like, oh, let me just boot up Concord for a second here. Yeah, I guess there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you, know, you can look at the the start screen if you want. <laughs> you can go through the Galaxy Index. We <laughs> can you actually still galaxy. go through it? No, no. Uh, but I'm just saying. I would imagine offline. You yeah, play yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, and so and so it's tough, right? Like when you have yeah. situations like that, you know, like if I wanted to jump back into Avengers with my friends. Actually, I don't know if the online servers are off. You, yeah, no, you can. The servers are still on. It's just yeah. that it's delisted. It's no longer for can't buy it anymore. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's scary times for sure when it comes to digital things and digital purchases, and uh, it's scarier times for physical media in that it's weirdly a dying thing. Um, mm-hmm. so we, we just got to hope that like in the film industry where you have people like Christopher Nolan, or you have people like Quentin Tarantino who are doing everything that they can to preserve the, uh, the physical media and to preserve film and everything. Uh, ho- hopefully they're going to be people on the game side of things that, uh, that have the money and have the means to want to do the same thing. If yep. we ever get to that point. Agreed. Great. Scary yeah. times. Um, well, with the final topic. Well, like, actually, hold on. I, I I know we were a little dry on news today, and yeah, I don't know. Better. I don't know if you guys have talked about this yet, but um, a little earlier last week, or actually on Thursday last week, there was an earnings call with Warner Brothers Discovery, um, where mm. David Saslav talked That's a little right, bit yeah. about some of the things going on with WB Games and some of their plans mm-hmm. going forward. I believe that they mentioned there was a loss, or Insider Gaming had mentioned that there was a loss of three hundred million dollars on mm-hmm. multiverses and suicide squad kill the justice league um but then we got a quote here a really interesting quote from david zaslav that said we have four strong and profitable game fr- franchises with loyal global fans hogwarts legacy mortal Kombat, game of thrones and dc where he says in particular 
Batman. We're focusing on our development efforts on those core franchises with proven studios to improve our success ratio. So essentially what he was trying to say was they were putting out too much. And because of that, games like Gotham Knights, if you will, Suicide Squad, Multiverses fall short. Now, I'll be honest, I feel like Multiverses, it really should have been a massive success. They just didn't get content out the door quick enough. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But Suicide Squad, obviously, critically, financially, uh, just didn't hit the mark i think even that's gotham probably Knights, the majority of that 300 million for sure. loss yeah. for sure for sure gotham Knights, even I, the detail on that one is yeah that's a lot I, I think there were reports out there that said gotham knights like hit profit but i doubt it was like well into profit yeah. mm -hmm. um it certainly wasn't something that they would be impressed by to want to like franchise it right um but when he says david zaslav says they want to focus on those four franchises Hogwarts Legacy, we've heard tons of rumors that we're going to be getting a Hogwarts Legacy 2. I think actually we, we even have variety reporting mm -hmm. that they're going to make it and try and like work with the guys making the new show. To, yeah, to, I've heard to, that like, story too. To, to kind of like parallel the development. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see. Well, I, th I think the, the premise of that was like set up like Easter eggs in the game that would then pay off in, in the, the show. show. Like, this is like years and years later. Obviously, the story set before oh. the, yes, the, yes. the evidence of Harry Potter himself. So yes, it would be I like, hey, I'm putting that. this book on the shelf, and then in the show, Harry's like, wow, I found book? a book. Wow, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. That's I guess my that's fair. book. That's yeah, my book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but then they he also mentions Mortal Kombat. I mean, uh, lots of rumors are, are kind of like having people speculate that Injustice Three might be next. Yeah. Um, but even then, like Mortal Kombat is a very easy franchise for them to want to continue to invest in. MK1 sold really well. I don't know how well the DLC did, but if it did decently well, I imagine they're going to come out with another expansion of some kind. Game of Thrones, an easy lob. It's one of their biggest franchises. Oh. Even if people hated season eight, it's still huge. In what, about yeah, Wonder, House of Dragons. what about our girl? So uh, <laughs> I'm going to get there, right? So when he says DC... He says, in particular, Batman. And this is the part that I'm worried about, okay? Because DC is a pantheon of heroes, oh, the yeah. same way that mm -hmm. Marvel is, right? Where you just have, you can pluck 10 characters that are iconic, that so many people would recognize, that may not necessarily have the street cred to where you can walk down the street and ask somebody, hey, do you know this X, Y, and Z character? And they know it, but they're still really popular. And they're not focusing on these franchises to instead say, we're just, it's Batman. It's everything Batman, you know? I and think they, it's only because the, the the only successful DC games as of the past 10 years have been Batman games. That's true. That's true. You're absolutely correct. But we got Wonder Woman on, on the way. It's right. But that has yet to be a proven right. success at all. Like that, but, we, I mean, uh, but I agree with you. It so, does seem kind of sketchy that it's like, why but not mention it? it, it, it and so this is like this is the interesting Batman thing. Game, though. <laughs> so so this is the interesting thing, right? We we have uh, on on the Marvel side of things. When you look at film, right? Iron Man was a B to C tier level character mm -hmm. from comic books before he got a movie with Robert mm -hmm. Downey Jr. and it became an A tier. Everyone knows who Iron Man is now, kind of character. Yeah. The Guardians of the Galaxy had like non-existent presence in terms yep. of pop culture and 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 their power in there that did come at a point where marvel is a massive brand big enough to take a risk like that but now guardians is a household name a ton mm -hmm. of people know who the guardians are they got their own game you're, i feel like you're DC, absolutely right caboose yeah and the unfortunate thing is that both of those cases came at a different time when media was in a totally different spot now you're dealing with a game or a property that takes years to make so say you're like oh, i yes. love green lantern i'm gonna green light a green lantern game great that's awesome that's gonna a come at a time when green lantern's not you know the the biggest thing ever and it's also going to take time to massage that and then what happens when 500 million dollars later no one really cares about Green Lantern You're whatsoever. Absolutely right. Sure. You're absolutely right. The the I think the caveat to that, Steve, is they they need to think a little smaller for these games. We cannot be looking at Green Lantern and the Flash or like Martian Manager, Aquaman. You know, we we can Wonder Woman is an exception. She's one of the big three. You gotta right. make a triple A open world, like massive title for that character, right? 
Green Lantern, I don't think, needs that kind of treatment. I think Green Lantern could very easily be provided a, a smaller scale, linear game that's just tight, well-made, 10-hour, fun experience. And then if it gets well-reviewed, if it makes enough money to go into the profit, now you're bolstering that brand. You're bringing Green Lantern to the eyes of the mainstream. You're putting it out there for more people to get to recognize this character, which then makes it so that an HBO show does even better. And now Green Lantern's a household name. Let's make Green Lantern to the game. Now it's AAA. Now it's open world, open galaxy, whatever you want to do. Now we can spend the money on it. They, there isn't enough risk-taking, and that risk-taking isn't managed well enough to not be such a massive risk. You're that, talking you know so I mean? much sense, Caboose, but the, the issue is that you're talking to people who like want to see creative things, yes. want to see new things. In uh, in a business room, when you're talking to like execs that are investing money and everything, they're like, Green Lantern? Never heard of them. What I want is more Batman, Batman, Batman giving Batman, me Batman. money. <laughs> Because yeah, it'll like also, money for me. It's the exact same thing. Why? What's that? Oh, you got a Flash movie coming out? Put Batman in it. Put real Batman quick in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Spider Man. Oh, oh Insomniac Games. They Batman's know. In. They know all about Ratchet and Clank. They've done this thing called Sunset Overdrive. People love that stuff. Actually, what we want is them to hemorrhage Spider Man movies. We want them to hemorrhage X Men games. We want them to just invest in known IPs. And that's the sad thing right now is that no one wants to bank on. That's the same reason why Machine Games is making Indiana Jones instead of a Wolfenstein game. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. because it's all IP and it's no risk. It's such risk aversion right and now. And also as well, we're talking about Warner Brothers here. Uh, they have had a very poor track record in it's been many tough. areas. It's uh, been really tough. I mean, the fact that like the, the current like the current Warner Brothers would would gladly shelve a Batgirl movie. Just for tax purposes, before they they uh, they invest in a in a, in a ten hour Green Lantern game, I would love that. I one hundred percent would love that. But to WB, if it's not if it's not a guaranteed surefire hit, yeah, they're 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 very reluctant to be able to invest any money in it. And they like because I, I mean, yeah, you're right. I would love to see like honestly. Here's the thing. I know it's like you know we're, we're focusing on like uh, like maybe on a smaller sort of like character, like a B character, as you said, and kind of elevate them to kind of, and make them a more more of a household name. But th th we gotta remember they tried that with Suicide Squad. And what happened with Suicide but they Squad. didn't. They didn't even really with Suicide Squad. Oh, they still banked on it. it they still like, banked on it being an Arkham game. They was, wanted to remember that is like after seven years of just trying to WB trying to make Suicide Squad happen. But in, and it did, though, so the first Suicide Squad movie was a massive success. It it's garbage, but it made a ton of money. Did like it? I. I, 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 I don't amount. I don't disagree, but I think that just goes to show the disparity between quote unquote success of the IP of Suicide Squad can be in a success to certain fans, but it's not Batman. It's not the Arkham series like Arkham Asylum or Arkham City. There's such a widespread in between those and the gamers showed up and they, they said, well, we don't want Suicide Squad. What we want is a core Batman game. Right. And so, you know what? Like, if we're talking about more Batman, there's obviously, there's been a ton of rumors, too, that Rocksteady might be returning to, to, to Batman, which that would be huge. Please let uh, it be I, Batman Beyond. I think, I I think it's got to be Batman Please. Beyond. And I think Have Arkham to. Shadow is proof that it has to be. Because now we've explored an Arkham Origins sequel. Right. That idea has been checked off the board for the Arkham franchise. There is one concept for Arkham left that everyone has been wanting six Arkham games ago. Batman Beyond. Like, this I think is, it really mm -hmm. is fun. It's Samurai Assassin's Creed game of Batman games. <laughs> like, yes. People have been begging for this. We have been wanting this for so long. It really, it writes itself. It, it is such an opportune time. It, it is... And it, you know what? It gets you so far away story wise and lore wise from the events of Suicide Squad. You know, like it, it looks like they're bringing back all the Justice League member in the DLC. I think when Deathstroke drops, whether it's next month or the month after, I don't know. Um, we're probably going to get Batman back. And I, I don't even know. Maybe Kevin Conroy might have recorded additional lines for that. I, that, that yeah. we don't I know didn't yet. even know they were still continuing um, to be able to make DLC for on us. Like, on season three right now. <laughs> and, so, and so if we do end up having that, all the Justice League come back and they kind of undo the, the, the 
the worst of Suicide Squad's story, then yeah, jump really far out into the future and let's do Terry McGinnis, let's do Batman Beyond, and let's just forget everything that happened in Suicide Squad. Here's the thing. It's I think like, that's a good way to overcome the hurdles with Conroy as well, which yes, you yeah, can't, yeah, you yeah, can't sure. ignore while trying to still 100%. build and flesh out a quote-unquote universe. You, you, you know, at some point. Uh, here's the thing. And I uh, like, uh, you know me, I'm not one to be able to like actively hate on on decisions like 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 this especially when it comes like hey i don't want to yuck anyone's yum um mm. but i honestly hate the idea of them re like, like retroactively changing the entire story of uh, of suicide squad that basically that oh ever like basically everything that players have been have, been, have played the entire game to kill the justice league and the game and the game is over regardless of whether you like the story or not if you made it through to the end you have you have your feelings sort of one way or the other and then to go back in dlc and being like it was, uh, it was that didn't happen well it's revived it, it, it the kind justice of like league. it's so, a punch so, in the face to the to, to the players who just went through all that you're gonna tell me like oh batman didn't die the flash didn't die like none of these like none of these deaths actually matter and i know that's the same with comic books like deaths don't really matter in comic books but like it just it, it to me it just feels like it negates the entire story what they were trying to tell and like choices they were making like whether they were wrong or right they were choices that were making it's like we are actively killing the justice league in this game and to go turn around in the next minute like once it's sort of like is not really working out too well and be like ah you know what jinx psych batman's so, back <laughs> that's that's the thing is like on one hand, you're totally right, and uh, and a lot of the way that they handle the Justice League returning very much reads as this was last minute. You know what I mean? Yeah, like sure. because when they brought back the Flash in the DLC, I think it was the the Mrs. Freeze DLC, it was literally like a cutscene and then a slideshow. Like it was yeah, literally he shows up. You don't even know, like, there's no buildup to saving him. You just, you play through that that DLC, you go through the missions, and then the final mission is save the Flash, question mark? And it's like, wait, what? Like, I, I didn't even know we were getting to here. Um, and then, yeah, he comes back. There's one cutscene where he zooms in and says something, and then it's pictures of the, the Suicide Squad carrying him into the Hall of Justice. With Green Lantern, Th there wasn't even even like there wasn't was even it? It was just, yeah it was he just you're like, what the hell? <laughs> beat the brainiac of that of that season and then he's back in the watchtower and you're like oh okay uh <laughs> yeah. i guess that happened now with yeah. batman this is the interesting one okay because uh, a fellow content creator who covers the the arkham franchise specifically his, his channel's name is batman arkham videos when suicide squad first released he covered a massive Easter egg that was found in the game where there were several calendars point or located throughout the entire city of Metropolis. Mm -hmm. And the calendars were circled on certain dates. And he deciphered that, I think it was something like changing the dates into letters or something like that. I don't know. This dude is a master of, of cracking the Easter eggs in these games. He deciphered that the calendars all spelled out, he will return. And the last calendar you find circles a date with Batman's logo in it. And so it seemed as though it was very much hinting Rocksteady was just, they, they, it was one of their crazy Easter eggs, which they love to put into these games where they were just flat out saying, he's not dead guys. <laughs> like, we promise. But it's, that is the inherent issue I have with Suicide Squad. There may have been hints throughout the story that lead you to believe that the Justice League are clones, that you're not actually killing the Flash or Green Lantern, but these hints weren't as in your face enough no, for them to be like revived. Final, yes. Like the, it like wasn't the final state of like hinting someone, you know, mm -hmm. you like know. someone saying like that, doesn't like uh, you know like that something's off about this or you know what i mean like just yeah. just to point out that it didn't seem as though we actually killed him like someone even saying when we when they killed superman like that was too easy like why was that so easy you know like yeah. uh but but there was none of that or why the kryptonite it, didn't work or like wait that doesn't make yes sense. You know, right like, that's odd, you know like you know and so it's it's things like that that makes it so that like you you don't question it enough to yeah. feel like them coming back was earned you know it makes it yeah. feel more like it was a rushed after the main game had come out sort of decision um mm -hmm. and so yeah it definitely makes it so that it's kind of like 
well, you you had an idea, at least stick with it. If you're exactly, do they just didn't have the balls risky. to stick with it. And um, I mean, there could be a lot of reasons as to why they had to change sure, it, whether it was sure. WB like pressure from WB or from higher ups or just like from fans. The, the, like there could have been a lot of reasons as to why they they changed. And I and again, I'm I'm I. I don't doubt that they're trying to be able to make the game like the game as best as they possibly can. It just, sure. it just, it was just like it felt like when when, when you because when you were telling me about the 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 the, yeah, the Easter eggs that potentially that Batman might be coming back, I'd just be like, but that moment in the game, whether people liked it or not, like that was a that was a shocking moment for a lot of fans, and mm-hmm. I think that to me, like as someone who appreciates what they were trying to do with the game, I actually did. I didn't like I was like, yeah, if that was how Batman was to go out, then then that's the that's the decision that, that I was like, okay, then that's what they that, that's what happens. Like yeah. to me, I was like, yeah, I don't I don't like not every hero or whatever needed to go out with it like a huge sort of epic sort of moment. Sometimes I mean here's the thing. If you think about it, okay, spoilers for Suicide Squad a little bit, but I think it's at this point, I think it's okay to talk about it. But I think Batman got shot in the head. That's what happened to his parents. Like, oh, I didn't. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It's but like, it, it, he could have been killed by any given moment, and that's it, 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 like he, <laughs> he, he could have been killed at any time in Gotham. It's not like he's he's a, yes. he's, a he's, he's impervious to bullets. Like, come on. Like it was but, it was a choice, whether wrong or right. It was a choice. And I think it was, it, it would like, to me, it was a shocking enough one to be taken out by Harley Quinn by a bullet. I'm like, hell, okay. Yeah. That's that, that takes some balls to be able to do that. Was it like, did, was really? it disrespectful? Was it uh, uh, what, like, what did it kind of negate a lot of who Batman is? Sure. But it was, it was, a, it was a solid story choice that I like just based off of what we played. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know. I, I I don't know if I can necessarily. I, I think you're, agree. You're, you're looking at Batman through rose colored glasses because because we've all been playing the Arkham games. But Steve, we all love Steve, Kevin Conroy. It's it's we not. All that love, his, <laughs> love that. Here's the thing. It's, Batman is it's my not that I don't think he time. can get shot. It's not that I don't think he can get shot. It's that it, it shouldn't be a ragtag group of dudes that 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 he's all that he's almost taken down individually. All of them in other instances manage to. At his most unhinged, at yeah. his least chained, take him down, have him in captivity, and then shoot him in the head. And I also think to take it a step further, that it made even less sense for them to have him locked up in Lex Luthor's lab and to not say, we should try an experiment to see if we can remove the mind control thing here. You know, Rather than them being like, you know what, we really need to kill Superman. So why don't we uh, carry Batman oh, out I'm not, to the I'm park not saying like the choices the leading up to that moment was the best. Like, again, there was a lot of issues story-wise in this. But I was, like, here's the thing. I kind of turned off a lot of that, and I just, like, I was on board. Like, I was like, okay, this is what we're doing. Like, pretty much since, like, the first thing you do, like, you basically kill you kill the Flash. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so we're literally <laughs> already, at, we're, we're doing yeah. this. We're doing this right now. And I was like, okay, cool. All right. Anything goes. Anything goes. I'm just like, oh. whatever happens, happens. And it's, like, it's it, it just, I, again, I just it, like, whether I'm not saying it was the best decision. I'm just saying it, by, by, I think the, the, the main thing is that, okay, if you're going to bring Batman back, bring him back in the main story. If that was the plan, like, I get it. You know, a lot of things can have happened, a lot of changes or whatever, but just, it just, if that was the plan, at least at some point, and they just then that then that and to be able to not have, have that pay off at the end of the main story, that's a slap in the face. That is more disrespectful to the character, the uh, Batman, to Kevin Conroy, to the fans that have been playing Arkham. That's more disrespectful to me than necessarily how he went out. Can I tell you what's even more disrespectful? And this is kind of a quick aside, but going back to the original, uh, the the four uh, games or the tent poles at Warner Brothers. These guys at, at WB, they're like, oh, we we really appreciate the Nemesis system so much. We love uh, what, Patton. Uh, Patton. We got Patton. put a patent on that. Oh, and develop another game in this franchise? Couldn't be me. No, never, never. Oh, does it does it have to be a cornerstone of our future? No, no, never, no, 
It really should have. You know what? You're totally right. Shadow of More, Shadow of War, and Shadow of Mordor. So freaking good. Excellent Both games. Impeccable games. Excellent with a game. great gameplay system. In what them. What did the sales look like for the sequel? How, how much the, like did they bring in compared to, to Shadow of War? Or which, I don't know which one was first, Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War. I think Shadow of Mordor um, was first, Shadow of War was second. And then Shadow of War was second. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm wondering how much Shadow of War made in comparison to Shadow of Mordor. Um, point because four that's million like, units. Compared to what? Shadow, uh, Shadow of War was, t- you said Shadow of War was 2.4 million? Shadow of Mordor, 2.4. Okay, so what was Shadow of War? That I, I that I'm not... I guess it, they, around 800 eight hundred and eight, yeah, eight hundred and fifty units in its first week. Eight hundred fifty thousand, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, oh, okay, sorry. Million. So it it definitely more than got, three million. So so it did underperform yeah. a little bit. Okay, but still okay. two point okay. four is nothing to to sneeze at. No, no it is not. Like, it what, is not. 2016, when they came out or something like that. Yeah. But I, I, yeah, and so it, it is honestly, and and Lord of the Rings in general should be one of their cornerstone franchises that they put mm-hmm. a lot of money into. I just don't know how like rights works. When it comes to to Tolkien stuff and how it, the estate it, it is has that thing tricky because around. I think Amazon inherited a lot of the yeah. well, obviously the TV show, but then they yes. are also developing a game as well. But that that happened recently, like during the pandemic, that they I know, acquired I know. that. So Did they could have easily like, greenlit. What Game something. of Thrones games are they working on? Like, <laughs> but you know what? I, I like, am what excited I for that. As too. long as it's not as long as not Telltale, Telltale season two. As long as I'm not Telltale Game of Thrones season two, Yo, I'm excited. House of the Dragon tie in. Give me, yes. yeah, give me, give me a good Anything. Game of Thrones RPG, something, yeah. right? Like, yes. I'm super down like for the that. Witcher, you which house like, to go the to, Witcher like, of Game of Thrones, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Like, so, like, there's, there's options there, but like, you know how they're saying they're going back to like DC, so uh, what about like DC games, Batman? What non Batman game have they made? Well, I guess, I'm, I'm yeah, so you Gotham that Knights is, is, that is, Gotham Knights like, is technically a Batman game. Suicide Squad Batman is Batman technically an Arkham Batman game. game. <laughs> so what non-Batman game have they made? That's what I'm trying to look. Like Green Lanterns were the last one. That was 2011. Here's the thing. That was that was like, the movie. movie. Why can't they just make a Superman game? I mean, I know oh, gonna, that's a whole oh, other thing. So bad, itself. Man, I want it so bad. I want a good Superman game. And I like, but I here's the thing. I would even be okay. If they were able to make a game that's based off of the, what J- the James Gunn movie uh, is going to be like, like I, like a movie tie-in. I know movie tie-ins generally suck. At this point, I'm just like, I just want a Superman game. Like, cause I I saw that that one dude that modded the uh, the the Matrix demo from Unreal Five yeah. and turned that into a, a Superman uh, yeah, uh, flying yeah. simulator. I'm like, man, I want. I that. Imagine it. it's flying hype, at that man. speed like, across the like. Uh, here's the thing. Making not only just an open like like literally like here's here's my perfect sort of ideal of, of of what a Superman game would be like. Instead of like you're just only in Metropolis as we've seen in in, in games in the past of Superman. I'm I'm thinking if you want open world, make it open world. Because imagine how because you know we know how fast Superman can fly around the world pretty it quickly. Would be nuts. And if you were able to build up that like, kind of create that same kind of speed in Unreal Five, like to make it look like. Yeah, like you're flying at like a huge, like hundreds of miles an hour, and you basically like all of a sudden you're like in the U.S. and then you fly and you're in U.K. Like that, to, like make the literally the open world, the open world. So like, oh, there's a there's a mission that you got to go to in 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 Africa, or there's one that you have to go to Alaska. Like you just have to fly. Like there's a whole bunch of different things that you have to do instead of just limiting it to like Metropolis only. Make it global. Make it like an actual global thing. Like that would be it's so damn cool. Problem. It's not only the flying, like how to like lay, like lay on the flying. The guy's unstoppable. Like, yeah. so, like, but see, that, that that part is you know, so easy to get around. Sure. Like, yeah. they, that's that's, that's why listen. Injustice worked because they found a way for that. And I think that was, I find the Injustice series is the like the perfect, like, non uh, Listen, I'll Even tell you. The fighting game. The I'll story tell you, I'll are tell fantastic. You. So. Easiest pitch you could possibly give for a Superman game is that Metallo is the main villain and all yeah. the minions are kryptonite infused enemies. Yep. So Superman is just not as strong as he normally would be. Like it's just, yep. it is so easy. And also, like at the end of the day, similar to how in Spider Man 2, Venom doesn't have a weakness to fire, the character's ability or capability is always in the eye of the beholder. So whoever's writing the game gets to decide how strong or not strong the character sure. is supposed to but be. But also as well, imagine a system where you're 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 playing a Superman 
And because we've all we hear in the comic books, or we read in the comic books all the time that some that that Superman holds back. He holds yeah. back on his ultimate strength. Yeah. Imagine you're trying to be able to do that in the game. Like there's a meter that you're like you you having to hold back your ultimate strength. But if you go past that and you basically and, and like you like you, you then then turn the game into potentially is Batman impressed. going bad? Like, is are we getting evil Superman? Like, or Superman? Mm-hmm, are we getting, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't. I I I know that's that could be negating everything. Like, what are the choices that are made at that point? Like, it just I, I don't know. I, it's I, I. But I. You know what? No, we're gonna get that because I want I want a hopeful Superman game. I, I've been. I think yes. we've been, we deserved it after a long time. Yes. I I want it. I've I desperately need it in in in, in my life, and I'm just sad that. As far as we know, we haven't had anything. I mean, what was it? Rockstar was the only like there was that rumor that there was supposedly they were working on one, I guess, but it turned out that that rumor wasn't true. Yeah, I don't um, think it was ever true that they no. were working on. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I mean, you're right. You're like, you're right. So like, Unjustice was kind of like the like a perfect way to be able to oh, to include to have love. Superman. That like that was a great story. I, I want more of that. I want like I okay, love an Unjustice story, like story based game or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah that would be amazing. I just yeah. or even there's how there's they, a ton of room they for just, potential. Just, they got together. Like how the hell did they get together? They have no explanation of that. There's a ton of room for potential. Um, what I will say though is I am very glad that as of recently, I th- I don't know if it was David Zaslav specifically who said this, but somebody at WB Games had essentially hinted that they're finally open to collaborating like third party essentially. Oh yeah, like, with other they, studios. That yeah. they're ready to take in ideas from people outside of everybody that they own, outside of whatever's under the WB Games umbrella, because that is going to open up the floodgates for for games like when we got Guardians of the Galaxy or Midnight Suns, right? These passion projects that aren't made just because a studio was under that umbrella and was mandated to make it like Avengers, but rather a, a game that is made out of like, hey, we made XCOM and we have a really fun idea for a Marvel themed XCOM, essentially. And they're yeah. like, hell yeah, go for it. Take our IP and run with it. Or or the guys who made Guardians of the Galaxy who clearly love that those characters and love that world and wanted to make a really good linear story. And it was full of passion and no no DLC, no microtransactions, no, you know, all the 30 skins that you can just unlock just from gameplay, like entirely made from just them loving that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. We just need things like that now out of DC, out of WB, and them allowing to open their doors to other people who might have good ideas will hopefully invite the studio that comes along and says, we've got the idea for the Superman game. Let us make it. Rather than them saying, you know what, Monolith? You're working on Wonder Woman now. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know, you, you have somebody come out. in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which, again, I really hope Wonder Woman's good because Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War are phenomenal games. The Nemesis system under the DC brand is a really good idea. And it's about time we started using the Nemesis system outside of two games. It's been um, a decade. That they patented. That it. they patented. Um, so I'm really hyped for that Wonder Woman game, and I really hope it delivers. Hopefully, because she deserves justice after you know Justice League uh, killed. Justice. Yes, yes. She was the only one who died in the game. I'm like, well, everyone yeah. else comes back to life. Spoiler alert, whatever. Like, who cares? That's true. She's the only one who actually dies. Like everyone else has a chance to come back. Like, well, yeah, no, she's dead, dead. dead. She's dead, dead. She's <laughs> dead. <laughs> but with that being said, Steve, what's going on for you the rest of the week? Oh my goodness, it's uh, it's Black Ops week. I'm I'm gearing up for mm-hmm. a good season. I'm looking forward to playing. Hopefully, get you guys in for for some games this Let's week. Do it. Um, Let's run it. Yeah, and then hopefully wrapping up on Dragon Age shortly because I really want to get through that by uh, by the end of the next week or so. Because I'm having a lot of fun with it. But otherwise, nothing really is going on over here. Awesome, Caboose. More Pokemon. More Pokemon. That's okay. it. And definitely gonna play some <laughs> oh more Call of Duty as well. Um, nice. The the Ghost Face. DLC for Mortal Kombat's like on the horizon. I think a trailer oh, yeah. in like the yeah. next day or two. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah. And then Steve, the return of Steve. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to be able to jumping in into uh, this week to a lot of a lot of games that I had missed over the past month of uh, traveling. I uh, have have not touched Alan Wake, uh, the the Lake House oh, DLC. Oh, the DLC is so oh, good. So I finally good. played it. Oh. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Ah, Wait, oh. scared the hell out of me too, man. Oh, no. <laughs> There's some spooky. 
spooky Ooh. parts in that. It's yeah, good. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm also looking forward to finally being able to jump into Dragon Age. Uh, nice. I've had it in. St- I've had it with me like on my uh, like ROG Ally that I've had. I've been traveling with for the past month, but there hadn't been a moment where I could be able to just sit down and actually like jump in and play it. So I'm thankfully finally going to be able to jump into that. Uh, finally going to jump into uh, to Black Ops Six. Uh, looking forward to that, and uh, and and what other games am I missing? Like, what else has come out in the past month that I haven't done that that uh, that you guys have been playing? Because I feel like I've missed out on a lot. I and all, all, the new Horizons coming out. The oh, the Lego, Lego Horizons. Horizons. Oh, Lego Horizons. Horizons. Yes. Has anyone oh. played the Horizon remaster? Because it actually I have, does it look. Looks, I, ha- looks I have so good. Good. I haven't touched Amazing. it yet. Amazing. It, it looks really, in. really good. It it, really. it looks like one of those where like this isn't like a why the hell did they do this type thing? It's like, no, no. Th- there, there's quite a significant I mean, there. leading up to it, I was like, oh, it already looks so good, and this game is the game I thought it looked like, if that it, makes sense. Like, if right. I close my eyes, I'm like, oh, it looks like it looks pristine. It looks so beautiful, and then Damn. this is the game that yep. I thought for the last, you know, however many, seven, eight years. I keep, I keep seeing is the photos game. all yeah. the time, you know. Yeah. I must say, though, a little complaint, the facial expressions, all of them are just like, really grown. bad like there's yeah. no like there's actually no smile option no for her like just just like pure, like super, pure, super. Un- unpleasant i'm like what is this what are these options <laughs> i've never seen this <laughs> option before like there's no smiling option like their best smile is just relax oh I'm my like, god oh. or i mean also i mean i could just jump into uh, i could just jump in i could jump into this right like i could play this now right <laughs> don't you dare open oh, yeah. do you want to play tonight <laughs> don't you dare open that don't you dare open that no, no, it's tonight? still in plastic. Uh, it's still in plastic. Yeah. Steve, do you want to play, that? play tonight? We can, can play Conquer. Oh, I, yeah, I totally jump in tonight. Can, yeah. can I get that? I have, that, I have that. that. Oh, yeah. I think Caboose wants it. No, but, yeah. uh, I, but uh, I don't know. What, what, sorry, what, what was that? No, I don't know. That one. Yeah. Just just pass it over. Pass it over. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Pass me that pretzel? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This one? Oh, this pretzel? Oh, yeah, that one right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Uh, my, my, yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for me, I'm gonna try back finish up Dragon Age as well. Like, nice. Is this ADR game? And like, I'm gonna attempt Metaphor because I know everyone keeps talking about it. I know. I have it. I have it installed. I have oh, it ready Metaphor. to go. Oh, that but... forgot that I've been playing that too. Oh, I love that I, game. But God you know, knows, I don't have 120 hours to play a game. Right? Like, there's both just of these no games, way. Like, it's crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, my also, God. by Maybe the way. Day. I've been having an like I've been there's 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 kind of a bit of that sort of itch that I need to scratch at some point of of jumping back into Starfield. I really mm-hmm. wanted to try the Shattered uh, Space mm-hmm. DLC, uh, and also I actually just got uh, I, I got this in the mail. It was supposed to be sent to me like a long time ago. Oh, but this is the nice! Launch. Oh, nice! Yeah. Yeah. nice. <laughs> we could be twinning that. at the next uh, event that we go to. There Sweet! You go. Cool. There you go. I've got like the cool like little cases way back there. Nice, anyway, nice. Yeah. All right. Anyway, All I right. need to catch you on some games. <laughs> yes, I'm here as well. So you know what? That's the end of the episode. We'll see you here uh, next week, everyone. Take care.